Hello ladies and gents, this is your Inday Midai and for today's vlog guys, meron akong tips on how to do citations using a reliable citing generator online, yeah! At alam naman natin guys na talagang mahirap talaga mag-cite o kaya mag-reference ng mga, alam mo yon yung mga articles online, ng websites, ng books, oo! At sa panahon ngayon guys, yeah, practical na tayo, di ba? Everything is done through online or gadget, we all know that. At guys, uh, this is a tip po kung paano nga ba mag-cite kahit na hindi ginagamit ang ballpen o kaya maghanap-hanap pa ng kung sino yung author, ganun, ganun. Uh, wala nang mga cheche bureche hassle-free, everything is fine. At saka yung website lang po ang gagawa ng reference para sa inyo. All you need to do is to copy-paste the website that you have gone through and put it on the website generator citation online. So guys, we all know that there are different citations. First is the APA or the American Psychological Association. Yes, this is the most relevant citing style, yeah. And the MLA, the Modern Language Association, the Harvard style. The Vancouver and Chicago Antarabian style. So, guys, okay, let's not go beyond. So, uh, I will teach you guys kung paano nga ba ako at paano ko po ito nahanap ang website na ito. At kung talagang legit po ba ito, kung talagang nagsasite po ito, gumagawa po ba ito ng reference. O oh, I know na nandyan yan sa mga isip niyo, mga katanung katanungan na yan, ba diba? But now guys, okay? I will show you and let's get started. So guys, paano nga ba ito? Okay? Paano ito gumagana? First is, for example, kasuhan ng plagiarism. Yeah. So, the first thing you need to do, for example, I click this website because gusto ko na ito yung prefer na data na, na kailangan ng research ko. So, paano ko makikita ang mga author? Ganyan, for example, ito. Meron silang example na classes ver versus modules. So, meron silang mga for example, kuha ako ng brief information kasi nga may punto din naman yung sinasabi ng website na ito. So, paano ko ba siya e -re reference First thing first is just copy the link. Okay? The link of the said website. Then, okay, I will go to my, through my online generator. Uh, nilagay ko po ito sa screen ko para madali ko po siyang makita. But, at the end of this video po, I will show you kung paano po siya um, ma-open. Okay? So, I will use the APA citation. Okay? I will use the APA citation. For example, uh, kailangan po ng ano dito guys, ng load or data para makapag uh, makapasok kayo sa site na ito. So, the next thing guys is click the plus sign, the blue plus sign on the right side. Just click this. At pipili lang po kayo kung ano po yung saan po nang galing ang data na kinuha ninyo. Kung galing ba siya sa website, sa journal article, sa book, o kaya sa saan. Okay. So, mali po yung nat tapindot ko. So, babalik tayo. Okay. So, let's click. So, para sa akin, ang galing yun sa website. 
Okay. Dapat alam nyo guys kung saan talaga nanggaling yung data ninyo para malaman ninyo kung alin, alin din yung source na pagpipilian ninyo sa site ito. So, kanina guys, di ba, nag-copy tayo ng link o kaya kinapi natin yung URL ng website na pinuntahan natin. Just copy-paste. Just paste the link. Okay? We have we have posted it there, there and go search. Let's click the search. Maglo-loading lang siya, guys, ng ilang seconds, okay? So, nakalagay na siya dito na ito pala, i-check niya kung ito ba yung website na pinuntahan natin. Classes versus modules. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's click this one. And sila na lang ang mag-fill in dito na ang title is classes versus modules, Viking Code School, the URL is this, the authors Wala pong author down na nakalagay doon. Contributor, publication date, unknown, unknown, date access. So, sila na po ang naglalagay. Date access, uh, 27, month 5, so year 2020. Website name, makikita lang din naman yan dito. Ito ang website name po niya is a Viking Code School. Okay, let's type the Viking Code School. Viking Code School. Viking Code School. Okay. Malalaman din nyo din naman yan, guys. Okay, we have a uh, fill in the website name. So, site source now. And uh, here it goes. Classes versus modules. That's Viking Code. Ito yung mangyayari, guys. Lalo na kapag walang author or wala po talaga sila nakikita na relevant information na kailangan ng reference. Ang importante dito, guys, is my reference tayo para hindi tayo makasuhan, guys. So, this is legit. At ito naman yung other, other reference po or citations na ginawa ko po nung nakarang araw. Okay. Okay guys, let's try naman sa journal for Okay? Let's try modular class because this is our e example topic. Let's try it. Okay? And let's search kung may mga relevant sources but for example, ito. Ito. He open natin po ito. For example, ito po. Okay. Diyan kayo, dito kayo sa article na ito or dito kayo sa journal na ito, kumuha ng mga in, ng information. So, ibig sabihin nun, um, dapat nyo itong gawan ng reference or citations. So, we, we should choose journal article. Article? Art Ang hinahanap niya po, is search by article title or DOI number. So, let's find the copying of title. Okay, hi. Kakapi po natin itong title. So, all we need to do is, alam nyo yun, yung praktikala na sa panahon ngayon. Kailangan natin ng mga legit na mga websites, mga generators, para easy lang po yung paggawa natin, ng mga research natin. Dapat din naman, maging masusi din po tayo sa pag uh, to trust ng mga online websites kasi we don't know baka mali o dapat din po nating i-check kasi minsan nagkakamali din po sila bagamat oo, tao din lang naman po yung gumawa and the next thing we do is even though ginamit po natin itong mga website na ito so kailangan din po natin ha mag check okay this is the one this is the one so let's okay bakit magkapareha talaga sila so let's click this one for example this one okay okay journal ano ano ganyan ganyan so sila na ang nag-fill in ng mga importanteng details po dito. 
to site source. Now this is the sample reference or citation na ginawa natin kanina. And as you can see, it is all well done and well written. So the next thing you do is you just you can copy paste that at, inagay, at ilagay po ninyo sa reference ng inyong research. Yeah, as you can see, the bibliography. Oo, doon natin nilalagay yun, ba? And now, guys, ngayon. Okay. Gagawin na natin kung saan ko, ko po ito nahanap. And I will show it to you. The APA uh, citation is can be found in HTTPS. Ganyan. So, just copy that or search that online. You can find that online or through Google or through Chrome. Just type that one. Next is the MLA. This is the website. The Scriber. Came from Scriber.com. Yes. And the Turabian. This is the website. The Bibguru.com. And the Chicago. The site. This for me. Website. And the Vancouver, the bibguru.com. And the Harvard, the mybib.com. And now, guys, thank you for watching in this vlog. I hope that I have helped you para po maging easy, convenient, and practical lang sa paggagawa ng research. But, even though, guys, may mga sites na ganito na nakat nakakatulong sa ating pag-aaral, still, you need to double-check it uh, for good results. Hope you have learned through my vlog, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.